it's day 14. I sound like this. I can't tell if it's cat allergy or if I'm actually like not feeling good. Hmm. I'm actually still gonna edit the vlog that was supposed to come out last night. I was just so exhausted. It's about 11.27. I'm going running. I don't know if I've said, but ever since starting weightlifting, running, keeping up with running has been more difficult and I don't run as often as I used to. And that's something I'm trying to figure out. I can't tell if I have like a slight cold coming up or if this is allergies from the cat. Um, I really believe that <clears throat> what we think about, what we say manifests. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm feeling sick. You don't want to say those words. Um, so I'm going to focus on the words I'm healing. I am taking care of myself. So we're, we'll see what happens. Let me go to the beach. Just got to the beach. It got cooler, so I hope that keeps this perfume though. Mm, so good. It's like a quarter of a mile in. Take a little break. Here's the beach. Mm. The sun is up pretty high, so. I thought I would get some shade, but there's no shade. So, we'll see how it goes. We're doing this. Oh. After mile two now. Look, it's like a real fountain. <laughs> I ran 4.6 miles. I actually stopped an apple page for water and I just, I was over it. I was over the run <laughs> and I decided to ground. So I'm just here grounding. I have like maybe half a mile left in my car. I feel better now. I still sound stuffed up. I think I'm gonna save the gym for tomorrow because it's already like mid afternoon. I'm completely Soaked, just full on sweaty. I already took my sports bra off. I definitely need a shower. My hair is curly from running. Remember how I talked about suicide? This friend, this friend now told me about a date by which they plan to end their life. And I asked what's the exact plan. He said about taking pills. This person has been to the psych ward and dealing with really bad relationships but this person is a great person I wouldn't be friends with them if they weren't so it's sad to see them in this altered state when you know that this person has all this potential and you have glimpses of who they can really be at their best and really feeling that they can't deal with all the pain anymore that was a verbatim quote of what they said. I talked about how this is an easy way out and the best things haven't happened yet. I honestly think it's a cry for help. It's not my job to convince someone to keep living their life. And it's so sad that they have gotten to this point mentally. So I feel like I've done what I can do as a friend. This person has parents and friends. Thanks for hearing me. Thanks for letting me not sending this person all the love. See that? Thank goodness for screen protectors. Well, I just showered. I got this intense. Right here. Okay, I'm focusing on my muscles, but intense tanning, tan line from the run and my double bra. And right here, too. No, I'm really a koala Marta. <laughs> There's a pretty sky right now. Wow. Look at my paws. There are big paws. Oh, big nose. Do you need a powder cure? 
No. Just snuggles. Eating homemade ice cream as I edit a thumbnail. This is so good. I've been forgetting to upload, but anyway, it's 10 p.m. I ate some yummy food and uh, I think I eat a little too much, but sometimes, you know, <laughs> it'd be like that. So, going to sleep, slap, going to sleep, 10 p.m. Gym tomorrow for sure. Weightlifting day one on a Wednesday. <laughs>